Welcome to Flash Tutorial 37, String of Beads, Follow Mouse. I'm going to start by opening a new FLA. This is some old action script that I've had for a dozen years or so. Okay, action script 2. And this first layer, I'm going to call it my bead or my ball. It's a ball. It's actually a ball. Pick up your oval tool right here. Oval tool. Hold the shift down. Make a circle. There it is. While it's highlighted, open up this box here, this color uh, swap pad. If you haven't got it docked here, if you go in the window, you'll find color somewhere there. <laughs> right there color I'm opening going to open up this color swab right here solid color click this I want radial gradient and you can see what I have here going on now if I click red I can make red if I click way down here I'm going to get black if you got black here and white here, I want them reversed. So click on this and drag it. Watch what happens over here. Click on this one, drag it. Now I sort of got a little ball there. I want it, I want less. I want a bigger gap between them there. That's almost what I want. I want it to be like a shine there. So now that's my shiny spot. I'll make it a little bit smaller. There's a shiny spot on my bead. Uh, I'm still have it highlighted click here there's two things in this one here there's the free transform tool and this gradient I want this gradient tool it looks like a little horn I'm gonna make this slightly bigger 200 and just get on that horn and smooth move it a bit and you can see I can move that ball with that get them cross here things see that and I can move with that bead is shining on that the way the light is shining on that bead click on the selection tool highlight it open the properties panel and make sure this is locked because it is a circle and change the width or the height they'll both change the same time to 50 enter and now I have my bead while it's highlighted I want to open the alignment tool right here if you don't have it here go in the window and you'll find alignment somewhere right here click on it it opens up make sure this button here is selected align to stage click this one to horizontally align it click this one here vertically align it and now that's in the middle of my stage it's highlighted I can see this square around it modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected here and call it ball underscore MC B A L L shift underscore M C. Okay. Now in this particular video, I'm going to call the ball in using Action Script. So I don't need it to be on the stage anymore. So highlight it, delete it. It still exists in a movie clip. If I open the library here, see there's still a movie clip called Ball, so it still exists, but it's not on the stage. So this here is really not the ball. This is AS as an action script. So open the action panel. Again, if you don't have it docked, look under Windows. Open the action panel, and we got a whole lot of typing to do, 40-some lines. Type, 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 type. I'm not going to try to explain this to you. I'm just going to go through the actual code, but not try to explain it. Variable, VAR turns purple space distance capital D colon number capital N U M B E R turns blue if it's spelt right equals 0 0.1 semicolon copy that paste it in change the word distance to friction make it equal to 0 0.8 semicolon paste it in again call it gravity make that equal to 5 Paste it in again. Call ball count. 
capital B A L L C N T, capital C, and make that five. Couple spaces, four, turns purple. Now, this is where we're going to go through and count the number of, of balls we put on the stage. Every time we go through this, we're going to count balls, count, count, count. Open bracket, var, variable, V A R, turns purple, space. I, as in an unknown, equals zero, semicolon. I, if it's less than, ball count, semicolon. Our ball count is five. I, plus, plus, close bracket. So, if the number of times we've gone through and made a ball, we're going to make a ball, is less than five, it'll make another one, it'll make another one, and this is what increments it to keep track, this I increments. And as eventually that I is going to equal, is going to be greater than ball count, and we won't make any more balls. And there's a closed bracket. Now, open curly bracket. VAR turns purple, space, ball, B-A-L-L. -L. Hmm. I didn't call it ball underscore MC. Okay. V A R space ball colon movie clip capital M capital C turns blue equals attach movie small a capital M that will turn blue if it's spelt right. This is what's going to bring these balls onto the stage. Open bracket quotation ball quotation comma quotation ball quotation plus I, comma, I, close bracket, semicolon. Ball, period, VX equals zero, semicolon. Copy that, paste it in, call it VY. There's the closed curly bracket for this open curly bracket. Now, we want this to happen over and over and over again. On enter frame, small o, capital E, capital F, that will turn blue. Equals function, open bracket, close bracket, open curly bracket. Clear, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. This allows us to do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Now, the line, the line that's going to be the line for our string of beads. Line style, small l, capital S, S-T-Y-L-E. Open bracket, 1, comma, 0, comma, 100, close bracket, semicolon. Move to, small m, capital T. Open bracket, underscore x mouse, comma, underscore y mouse, close bracket, semicolon. That's the x and y positions of the, be the beads as they're called onto the stage. Ball zero period VX, capital B. Ball zero period VX plus equals open bracket underscore X mouse minus ball zero period underscore X close bracket. Multiply the asterisk, the uppercase of number eight. Distance, that's one of our variables semicolon. So copy that, paste it in, change the VX to VY, change the these to Y mouse, change this to underscore Y, and the rest stays the same. Four turns purple. Open bracket, VAR, I equals zero, semicolon. I less than ball count semicolon I plus plus close bracket it's very similar to up up here open curly bracket variable VAR space ball a colon movie clip capital M capital C turns blue equals this this is the one that we're making right now. Small t-h-i-s turns blue. Open square bracket. That's the lowercase of the open curly bracket.
quotation, ball, quotation, plus I, close square bracket, it's the lower case of the closed curly bracket, semicolon, if, turns purple, open bracket, I is greater than zero, close bracket, open curly bracket for the if, variable, ball B, colon, movie clip, equals this, open square bracket, quotation, ball, quotation, plus, open bracket, I minus one, close bracket, close square bracket, semicolon. Ball A period VX, plus equals, open bracket, ball B period, underscore X minus, Ball A period underscore X, close bracket, there's the asterisk again, distance, semicolon. Copy that line, paste it in, change the X to a Y, change the X to a Y, change the X to a Y. We're almost finished here. There's the closed curly bracket for this if. Ball A period V, Y, plus equals gravity, semicolon, ball A period VX, asterisk equals friction, semicolon, ball A period VY, asterisk equals friction, semicolon, ball A period underscore X, plus equals ball A period VX, semicolon, Ball A period underscore Y plus equals ball A period V Y semicolon line two open bracket ball A period underscore X comma ball A period underscore Y close bracket semicolon there's a closed curly bracket and another closed curly bracket and if we have no errors but I gotta go back and rename my movie clip because I called it underscore MC. So let's go back to the library. Right click on this ball movie clip. Uh, open the properties panel. And there's the movie clip ball underscore MC. I want you to click right here. And I should put a click in both of these. And here I wanna call it just plain ball. Okay, and if I have no errors, this should work. Control, test movie, test, and there they are. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.